There's three things you should really never do with a short-term rental. So I wanna to talk to you about those now, because short-term rentals have a great upside, but there's three things you should never do to really be the best host. You can be a host of someone that hosts an Airbnb or host a short-term rental. So as a host, there's three things you don't wanna do. Number one, don't ever accept a booking from somebody who's local to your neighborhood that does not have any prior reviews on that platform. So let's say Airbnb. If you pull up and someone's trying to request re request to um, book a night with you or two nights with you, and you realize they have no reviews, there's a very good chance that person just set that account up that day for one reason only, to have a party. If they're local, that's the reason. Now they're gonna have a million excuses why they wanna have the, the room, and there's lots of reasons, but I'd be very cautious. We've had a lot of problems with people that are local, that have no reviews, that we allow to book. We, they tend to wanna create parties. And number two is just that, don't allow parties. There's a lot of problems that come from parties. I've had to break up a party in the early days when we first had it. I had to go to a house and, uh, and break up. There were a lot of guys that were way bigger than me, about 20 guys at the house younger than me. And I walked up the door and said, gentlemen, you gotta leave. And because it's an Airbnb, I was able to ask them to leave right away. And they had to, they left that night, didn't have to call the cops. I said, you guys broke the house rules. I walked in because um, they were having a party. They said, we're not having a party. While well, they're all smoking dope and uh, uh, hanging around drinking. They said, we're not having a party. I said, there's 25 people in this house. And so I asked them all to leave and they did. Kind of a scary moment, but I stood my ground and it was okay. So don't allow parties though, because parties can give you a bad name in the neighborhood. They'll give you bad reviews from neighbors. And so you don't want to have that kind of a headache. It might seem like, oh, I'll get good money for that. But at the end of the day, you don't want to have parties in your short-term rentals. That's not good. And the next one I say is don't allow pets. We have not allowed pets in any of our properties. However, we have a situation now that we got ourselves in a little bit of a pickle. We have somebody that um, has a service dog, they claim, and so we couldn't discriminate. We had to allow that service dog to come into the property. Guess what the dog did? It pissed in the floor. They claim they took a cat in that pissed in the floor too. Why they had a cat in the house, I don't know. You know every now and again, you're gonna have horror stories, right? We've, we've had, I don't know how many hundreds of bookings, so you're gonna have one every once in a while. But this animal pissed in the floor, the room stinks. So now we have to clean that floor and get, you know, it's a whole process. So my advice is when people say, oh, I have a little pet, but it never goes to the bathroom on the floor, it never does. We simply don't allow pets in our properties because most of the time in those Airbnbs or short-term rentals, you're gonna have furniture in there. You're gonna have, you know, uh, linens. You're gonna have pillows. You're gonna have all that stuff that animals love to chew on and snuggle up in. They shed their hair. Maybe the next guest comes in and has an allergic reaction because there's a cat in the house or a dog in the house. So do the best you can to restrict having animals in the property, okay? Even if someone tells you that's the only way they can do it, they give you a sob story, I recommend that you don't do it. So those are three things I would recommend that you do. Don't book the people that are um, that don't have reviews or local to you, don't allow parties and don't allow pets. If you do that, I think you'll find your short-term rental can be a very successful venture for you.